Welcome to Decentralized News. So today I just want to talk to you guys about uh, an interesting report that's just come out of uh, Fidelity called uh, Bitcoin First. And uh, Fidelity is uh, basically uh, building uh, enterprise grade uh, Bitcoin custody and uh, other services for large institutions. So this is uh, Fidelity Digital Assets. It is a subsidiary of uh, Fidelity Investments and actually operates uh, as a, a separate uh, entity that is uh, dedicated to dealing with uh, digital assets. So in this uh, current report that they've just brought out, uh, it's uh, what I feel is a bullish case for Bitcoin in the sense that they are pretty much going right off the bat saying that uh, Bitcoin is uh, best understood as a monetary good and uh, one of uh, the primary investments uh, thesis for Bitcoin is that they, it is a store of value asset in an increasingly digitized world. They also say that uh, Bitcoin is uh, fundamentally different from any other digital asset in the sense that no other digital asset is likely to improve upon uh, Bitcoin as a monetary good because it is the most uh, relative to other digital assets, of course, the most secure and uh, has the most uh, kind of a level of decentralization and is considered sound digital money and uh, any improvement will necessarily face some trade-offs because of uh, the network effects of uh, Bitcoin. So they've also said that, you know, there's uh, not necessarily mutual uh, exclusivity between the success of the Bitcoin network and all other digital asset networks Rather, the rest of the digital asset ecosystem can pretty much fulfill different needs or solve other problems that uh, Bitcoin simply cannot or does not. So other no Bitcoin or non Bitcoin uh, projects should be evaluated from a different perspective than uh, Bitcoin, according to Fidelity. And uh, they say that Bitcoin should be considered an entry point for traditional allocators who are looking to gain exposure to digital assets. And uh, furthermore, they also state that uh, investors should hold uh, two distinctly separate frameworks for considering investment in this uh, digital asset ecosystem. The first framework uh, being examining uh, the inclusion of Bitcoin as an emerging monetary good. And the second considers the addition of other digital assets that exhibit a venture capital-like properties. So I think um, it's a good report. It's not that long. It's a 26 page, I think, uh, report. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out in full. Pretty interesting. I think um, with uh, the headwinds of the last couple of months, uh, we're starting to see some uh, upward momentum and uh, the narrative start to change again as uh, more uh, figures are coming out of uh, places like the United States as far as uh, inflation data being at uh, all time highs. And uh, yeah, you know, um, this is um, a bullish case for Bitcoin, in my opinion. And I would not be surprised if uh, we start to see more institutional uh, adoption and uh, announcements coming in the following months, uh, which could uh, obviously affect things uh, positively but uh, that's just my opinion make sure you are keeping up to date with everything by uh, making sure you check out this centralized dot news where we keep you updated with the latest and best in uh, digital assets till next time peace y'all